Philippines next year? Just you know, be prepared. You gotta be prepared. Really, really, really prepared. It's a tough competition. Everything happens in a month. All bets on sport. The energy flows. What is bet? This is your victory. This is your experience in previous World Cups. You're playing how my experience in the World Cup were the maximum. I was always very, very connected with the World Cup. It was, to me, a huge part of my career. I got the chance to be in five of them, and it was, it was always fun. Always fun. Even the ones that we didn't do that well. Luis, have you enjoyed the sights and sounds of the Philippines so far outside the festival? I actually was trying, but I've been here only one day and a half, so I didn't have a lot of time, and we've been doing a lot of things. But I'm looking forward. I'm coming back for the finals, and looking forward to do more stuff. Uh, Luis, can you take us back on that event uh, where you, you and uh, Gabe Norwood had a moment I'm oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, sorry. Uh, you, you, in an event, you and Gabe Norwood had, had a lot of love in, uh, in an event earlier today. Uh, what, was, what was that like? It was fun. It was fun. People have been really, really lovable here in the Philippines. Everybody's very, very fanatic about basketball, you can see. And, uh, you know, for us, basketball players, to have the chance to come in a, such a far away place for us, obviously. And you still be recognized, you still see that people love the same game that you love, is very important. So this is one of the things I love about FIBA and I also love about the NBA, you know, how we take in the game. Now, I say we, somehow I'm part of it, but it's there, they're doing this for everybody. You know, they're taking the game pretty much every corner of the world. You go to Africa and you see basketball, you see NBA, you see FIBA, you see national teams. You go to Asia and you see the same, you go to Australia. Everywhere you go, there's basketball, there's FIBA, there's NBA, there's national team. And that's pretty much uh, the best thing we can have, you know, making the game global, making it grow, and making it play, be play every part of the world. Luis, can you talk about how special the team the early 2000s in which you were teaming with Manu, the team, um, show me how special it was. It was very special, it was very special. We got really uh, really good years in which we competed at the highest level and it was fun uh, it was probably the highlight of our career so very excited. Please, you've been to a lot of World Cups what is the biggest piece of advice you can give to the Philippine National Team? Uh, just you know be prepared you gotta be prepared really 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 prepared it's a tough competition everything happens in a month so you gotta be in really good shape and sometimes people underestimate that you know you play a lot of players they get in shape while playing so, but when you have a lead that is 10 months, that's okay, you can do that. Uh, because a game will prepare you for the next game, and halfway through the year, you're gonna be in really good shape. Now, when you're in the World Cup, you gotta be in shape on day one. Uh, and that's not always that easy, and sometimes players just struggle. So, that would be my biggest advice for players. You know, just pay extra attention on the preparation and, and getting to the first game in the maximum condition, because Really, you don't have tomorrow. You have a bad day, you two loses, and that's the end of it. So uh, that's that's the first thing. And for the Philippines team in particular, we just gotta go for it. You know, teams that don't have such a big history like other powerhouses, you just gotta believe in it. If you don't believe in it, you're not gonna do it. It's a little bit of Argentina 20 years ago. 